Hi everybody, welcome to Citizens Bank Park and welcome to Phillies Baseball. Tonight, the Phillies host the Colorado Rockies. Uh, the last time the Phillies met the Rockies, they met for four in Colorado. The Rockies took three out of four in Colorado. The Phillies would like to reverse their fate here in this series. The Phillies on a three-game losing streak after being swept in New York. And they're trying to get their offense back on track here at Citizens Bank Park today. Or actually, tonight. Ethan Martin will start for the Phillies against Kyle Kendrick, the former Philly. Ethan Martin had a good game his last time out. And he is trying to add to that here today. Well, here's the Rockies lineup as you see on your screen. To the whiskey in the third spot with Dickinson batting cleanup. Ethan Martin, 3 and 1, will be in his sixth game. He has 38 strikeouts and 9 walks. Uh, Charlie Blackman will lead off for the Rockies. The center fielder batting at 331. Center fielder, Charlie Blackman. Ball. And that's ball one. No balls and one strike. Excuse me, one ball and no strikes to Charlie Blackman. Two and zero. Oh. The Leafs were swept by the Mets at City Field. They really could get their offense going. The Philly starters did give up some runs. And here's a ground ball on the Perez. A fire over the, the, the Franco, a fire over the first for the out. One down. Nice play by Franco. And he continues to make headways here in the major leagues. No. One ball and no strikes. To DJ Lemieux batting at 214 with three home runs. Two balls and no strikes. And good if the Phillies get off to a good start here at home. Can shake the cobwebs out. Two on one to count. And Ethan Martin is a guy that can stop a losing streak. And the Phillies are a game over 500. They have not been under 500 this season. Two balls and two strikes. Ball count now. Troy Tulowitzki waiting on deck. Martin will walk a few batters here. And Troy Tulowitzki. strikes. In the left field, a base hit. So the Rockies have two on and one out. To Lewitsky with a one out single and they'll bring up Corey Dickerson. Ooh. 
Washington. Martin is some first inning trouble here. The ball's a one strike. Top of the first, two on, one out. That one a shot in the left field. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Lemieux is going to come around and score. Tulowitzki at third, Dickerson at second. And Colorado takes a one nothing lead here in the first inning. On an RBI double by Corey Blackman. You don't really see this from Martin giving up hits early in the game. An REI double for Corey Dickerson. That is foul. Outside. Two balls and one strike. Tulowitzki at second. Lemieux. Three and one. Tulowitzki at third, Dickerson at second, excuse me. One out, three balls and one strike. Full count now. Oh, he was fortunate enough to get away with that one. Struck him out. Two outs here in the first. And they'll bring up Nolan Arendo. Arendo with four home runs this season. Right. Rockies in that third game of that four game series. Rockies put up 17 runs in that one. They went on a tear in Coors Field. Phillies have only scored 10 runs one time this season. That is foul. Martin with 24 pitches already. No. Two and two. Martin trying to see his way out of the inning. He beats a foul. Two balls and two strikes. Still two balls and two strikes. Staying alive here.
struck him out. So Martin comes back and not just two strikeouts. That'll retire the Rockies. They do get a run. On an RBI double by Corey Dickerson. They leave two on base. We go to the bottom of the first. Rockies one. Phillies coming to bat. Ryan Sandberg and the Phillies line up. Rivera, Perez, Beltre, Jordan, Brown, Ruff, Utley, Franco, and then Ethan Martin. You see the defensive line up here for the Rockies. Here's Ben Rivera batting at 256. 15 RBIs. Kendrick, the former Philly, pitching for the Rockies. One ball and no strikes. Doing nothing. Balls in one strike. Kendrick was a part of that 2008 Phillies World Series. Also won 2009 National League Champion Phillies. And Rivera fouls it. Two strikes. Perez waits on deck. Got him. Got a report on Kendrick. You see the sinker at 91, a four seam fastball. As fast as the 4 seam, 87 to 92 miles an hour. Here's Salvador Perez. He's batting at 236. He leads the Phillies with 30 RBIs. No, that's a ball. On ball and no strikes. Bounced up there, two and nothing. Three balls and no strikes. Beltre waits on deck. Got that over, three and one. Back to Tula Whiskey. One out here, two outs here in the first inning. Bring up Adrian Beltre, who's batting at 266. He's got four home runs on the season, and that is a strike. Still looking for his 400. strike oh. two and one <laughs> bell train base hit in the left field he is a two-out base run, though. Bring up Jordan. Jordan betting at 287. 
Beltre's 2,654 hits. He's 350 away from 3,000. Here's Jordan. One ball and no strikes. One ball, no strikes. Jordan back up the middle, a base hit. Beltre will hold at second base. Bring up Dominic Brown. Oh, that stat is a mis misplay with Adrian Beltran, not Brandon Jordan. They just saw that stat up there. Dominic Brown with eight home runs, and he gets that one to Whiskey, who puts the ball with his glove over the second for the out. That'll retire the Phillies here. They do get two hits in the inning. They leave one, two to the second. One nothing Rockies. Uh, bring up Michael McHenry, batting at 298 with a home run and 14 RBI. Number eight, Michael McHenry. Hit foul. No balls and one strike. up there one and one. one one Martin has already thrown 31 pitches in this one I got the count. One ball and two strikes <laughs> hit foul oh, Got him. Third strikeout for Martin has one down here in the second. Gonna bring up Drew Stubbs, betting at 286 with two home runs, 11 RBI. One strike to Stubbs. Foul, 0 and 2. Ball. And a ball and two strikes. One, two, to count. Two, two. Two balls and two strikes. Got him. Four strikeouts for Martin. Two down there in the second. Martin has settled down. Take a look at the pitch sequence. And right down the pipe. But Stubbs couldn't hit it. Kendrick pops it up. And this will be a quick inning for Martin. We go to the bottom of the second. Rockies one, Phillies nothing. Here's Darren Ruff betting at 326 with four home runs and 12 RBIs. Hit to the third baseman, Amendo. Fires over the first for the out. One down on one pitch. Now bring up Chase Utley, batting got 277. He's got 20 RBIs and four home runs on the season. On strike.
Utley foul. Inside, one ball and two strikes. Utley, oh, what a stop by Lemieux, and he fires the first for the out. That's two down, a nice play by Lemieux. A nice dive by Lemieux, extending himself. Great play by Lemieux, and Kyle Kendrick right down. Here's Michael Mikel Franco. Strike to Franco. Come on, Phil. One and one. Third baseman, will he get him? No. Arendo made a nice stop, but could not get Franco with an infield single. And it'll bring up Ethan Martin. Oh, threw that a base hit. Ball and no strikes to Martin. Half boss hit the left, but caught by Stubbs. None of a tie the Phillies here in the second. We go to the top of the third. The Rockies lead it one to nothing. Top of the lineup again for the Rockies. Charlie Blackman, who's 0 for 1. Ethan Martin has settled in. Has four strikeouts. And he throws another strike. No balls and one strike. Wait. That is hit in the left field. That is a base hit. It's going to go up way to the wall. And Blackman will end up at second with a stand-up double. Up next for Colorado. Blackman leads the Rockies in doubles with 15. And they'll bring up DJ Lemieux. Lemieux walked his first time up. Off the mound and in the center field. Blackman rounding third. He will score. No throw. The Rockies lead it two to nothing on an RBI single by DJ Lemieux. And they'll bring up Troy Tulowitzki. He's one for one. He singled back in the first inning. And the Rockies getting base hits without the home runs. They did that in Colorado. Got some key hits. And a couple of those games. No. One ball and no strikes. One ball, no strikes. <laughs> one ball and one strike. More no one. Some new one, excuse me. Nobody out. And a run in. Ball. Two balls Two and one. no strikes. Oh, yeah. Two and two. Oh, 
third strike. Struck him out. That's five for Ethan Martin. One down. And it will bring up Corey Dickerson. Martin is thrown. It'll be his 50th pitch he has thrown in his inning. Well, in the game, through two and ball one on. thirds, one ball and one strike. Martin, usually a quick worker, his pitch count is in the 50s here in the third inning. The Phillies need to stop a losing streak. And it's his foul. Dickerson skies at the right field. Jordan going back. It bounces off the wall. And a throw on the second. And then a go to third, not in time. To Lewitsky at third. Dickerson at second with a double. Justin Morneau will be the batter. So the Rockies with two on, second and third, and one out. 14th double this season by Corey Dickerson. Jodowitzki at third, Dickerson at second. And he went, no balls in one strike. The Rockies have had the Phillies number so far this season. 0 oh 2. And that Phillies bullpen is worn out. Outside, one ball and two strikes. Inside, two and two. Phillies do not want to use their bullpen early. That is past Franco, a base hit. Tulowitzki will score. Dickerson will end up at third. Morno at first with an RBI single, and the Rockies lead it three to nothing. Uh, bring up Nolan Arenado. Chance for the Rockies to do more damage here. That is outside, one ball and no strikes. That's the 15th run batted in for Morno this season. That ball's hammered the right field. Jordan going back, it is gone. Nolan Arando with a home run, and Colorado has a 6 0 lead in the bottom, in the top of the third. Wow, Rocky's pouring it on here. And this is, looks like Ethan Martin's worst outing of the season. That pitch was right down the pipe. Three run home run for Armadero. Number eight, Michael McHenry. As Michael McHenry, Rocky still with one out here. Martin has thrown 60 pitches. You go through one of those losing streaks and one of those. Phases during the season when everything is just going wrong and nothing going right. And you can see it here. They get out of City Field with a sweep and they're running into the same problems down early. Two balls, Two balls and strike. one strike. 
And Ryan Sandberg does not want to use his bullpen. Because the bullpen is worn out. Fly ball, right field. Shorten puts it away. Has two outs. Now batting. Phillies with leading the second to first in the National League in team ER and high team ERA. Mets with the first highest, only by two points. Is Drew Stubbs. And that is a strike. Ball strike ratio. It's okay, but 64 pitches. He gave up six runs and two and a third. It's not a good look. Got him. Six strikeouts from Martin. But the Rockies did some damage here in the third inning. Armadale, a three-run homer. A five-run third inning for the Rockies. Here's Ben Rivera. He is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. In his first time up. So Kyle Kendrick has a six-run lead to work with, and Rivera takes a strike. Phillies have to do really get something going here in this one. In front of their home crowd. And ball in one strike. Right there. The second. There's one out here in the third inning. Now bring up Salvador Perez. He's 0 for 1. Ball and no strikes. No strikes. Perez fouls it. Perez, another foul. Two balls and two strikes. Go, Phillies, go. Little topper in his foul. Perez hanging in there. Two balls and two strikes. Count now, Adrian Belfre waits on deck. Another foul. Yeah. Perez caught looking two down here in the third inning. Here's Adrian Beltre. He's single in his last at bat. I strike the Beltre. Kyle Country pitching very well. Only allowing one hit. Right. And these pitchers that pitch against the Phillies, they're not throwing anything down and in. Two 
two balls and two strikes. Full count to Beltray. Trey Petula Whiskey bounced up there, uh, picked up by Morno, and that'll end the Phillies in the bottom of the third. We we'll go to the fourth. Matt Baskersian will have the call. Come on, Phillies! And that ball. one's in on the no, hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Well, that's a pitch you really have to learn to take against a guy like this. But even if you make contact, you're just going to get something in on the label. So that's a great take. Fouled back. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Had no, nibbled the corner that. there, but missed 2-1. and one. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. The pitch. He's fallen oh. behind now, three and one. Charlie Blackman waits on deck. Here he comes, three one. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. The 3-2 pitch. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. We showed you his numbers a minute ago. It's still early in the season to be worrying too much, but definitely off to a slow start. So he's going to need to string together a few good outings to lower that ERA a little bit. Charlie Blackman will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. Now the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and Six runs, seven hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And a strike to even the count, 1-1. One and one. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, a base hit. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you see there, he sits in fourth place in that department in the National League. D.J. LeMayhew will step in. An RBI single this last time around. First pitch coming. Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw not in time as he steals second. And it looks like these guys just don't want to take their foot off the gas pedal. They know even a lead like this isn't safe, especially with a lot of baseball left to be played. So he's on the move here, and he's in the second with that stolen base. Has a look, now the pitch. And a bouncing ball, foul. He's ready now, the pitch. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. As you can see right here, his timing just seems to be off a little bit at the plate right now. And you know what? That can happen during the course of the season. You're not always going to have your good swing. And he's the kind of guy that's got a lot of moving parts in that swing. So maybe he's at the point now in the season where he might need just a little time off so he can get back to the bases. Here's the first offering. Troy Tulowitzki is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Now 
now the 1 0. And that catches the outside edge, 1 and 1. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now the 1 1. Keeping it down here as it's to 1 and 2. Oh, and he sure got a good one, doesn't he? That ball goes from about knee high to ankle high in the matter of about five feet. Here comes a 1 2. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Here now the 2-2. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Corey Dickerson would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Full count pitch on its way. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One left for Colorado, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Brandon Jordan will stand in. Base hit his first time around. Here's the first pitch. Fouled back. Now here's the pitch. Cut fastball above the letters of ball and a strike. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to 1-2 and two now. The right-hander deals on 1-2. and two. Hard two sinker ball. misses 2-2. Two two. The 2-2 two -two coming. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Oh, I think you'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Here's the full count offering. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Uh, and you can see he is none too happy about that last call. I think he's saying it was low, and, huh, well, now I know he was saying it was low. But, you know, you can't show up an umpire like that. It may have just cost his guys another inch or two on close calls. Here's the left-handed hitting Dominic Brown. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the pitch. Sinker, one ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Cutter misses, and it's 3-1. and one. Check that 2-1. and one. Yeah. And on two and one right now, you got to figure this guy's wound up for the fastball here. Maybe you come with the breaking ball here out of the zone and hope he goes after it. Swing at a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Here's that swing again. This is in show motion. And mm, you'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. Stepping in now, Darren Ruff. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. One 
1 0 on the way. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Yep, maybe a shot here now with two away as they finally get another base runner. He'd retired six in a row prior to this base hit, so he's had his way with these guys for the past few innings. Shea Sutley will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch on the way. Right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They won't make a dent in a 6 to nothing deficit. Corey Dickerson will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. The right fielder, number six, Corey Dickerson. Here's the first pitch to him. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Tonight, borderline calls. you got to be swinging. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now here's the pitch. Ball. Outside for a ball, one and one. One, ball. one strike. Here's the one-one pitch. No Two offer more. on that one. Two balls and a strike. Here comes the 2-1. Oh, and no. not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. and one. Well, this is a good job to work the count from 0-1 to 3-1, and, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a fastball. The 3-1 is on the way. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Hmm, that's a borderline strike right there, and I think that he had one step out of the batter's box headed towards first already. Full count offering on its way. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. First baseman number 33, Justin Morneau. Justin Morneau will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. First pitch coming. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. From the belt, the pitch, swinging a ball, hit on the ground, and this will work as a sacrifice as they get the out at first, but the runner moves into scoring position at second base. You know, that's one that you just don't see that often. Safe at second base, but out at first. Just shows you the speed he has at first base that he was able to beat the throw into second. Here's Nolan Arenado as he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Let's watch this swing and show motion. You're going to see this pitch just tie him up in knots, but somehow he's able to fist it all the way out to right field. Into the box now, Michael McHenry. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. One-zero -oh pitch now. Good tailing action there. It's one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. 
There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hack. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That changeup's not really a pitch you can sit on with two strikes. Because if he gives you that fastball, you'll be an hour late on it. That's a great job of not showing that pitch until he was ready to punch him out. Here's Drew Stubbs now. As the first yep. pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Now this is swung on and dribbled up the first baseline. He waits. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball lined hard towards short. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Well, we know this is a guy on the mound that doesn't like to waste a lot of pitches. He's coming right after his man on an 0-2 pitch, but this one's just a little bit more of a cement mixer. A lot of spin, but no action. So this is a good swing right here, and he's going to drive in a run with it. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Seven runs, ten hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Pause, now the pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And the runner will score from second. Open his own cause right there, and no need to wait for the RBI guys to drive him in. He says, you know what? I can be an RBI guy, too. That's a great at-bat right there, and that drives in a run. David Buchanan is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Charlie Blackman will see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. Now, here's the first pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball snaps in there for a cold strike two. Good curveball right there, and that just really froze him. Two men are on with two men out. Here's the 1-2. Slice down the left side, but foul. Now another one, two. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Here's the two and two home. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that's going to get down out there. And the runner will score from second. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see. And he was right on that one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. As he'll go after the first pitch and send a ground ball down to third. And from his knees, he got him. Boy, all arm there as the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on four hits here. No errors and two men left on base. Home half of the fifth coming up. Rockies lead it nine to nothing. Michael Franco stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. 
Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. And here's the first pitch. Eight, nine, and one to start the inning as the first pitch misses for ball one. Here's a 1 0. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. 1 1 on the way. And they'll come oh. back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Now the two one pitch. And this swing is wrapped out to Tulowitzki at short. Throw on to first and one shortstop grounds out to the other one away. You know there's no such thing as a routine grounder with this guy. If you take your time, he's going to be safe. He'll beat it out. So that's a nice job of getting rid of it quickly and getting him at first base. Xavier Paul will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Oh, he checked his swing there and pops this one up. Closing fast, and he makes the diving catch. Yeah, there's a ball right there, not hit very hard, so he's got to cover some ground in a very short amount of time, and he lays out there to pull it in. Nice play. Here's Ben Revere. And a sinker oh. dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. But it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Now the 1-0 pitch. Grounded foul toward the third base dugout. Ready now on one and one. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Yeah, one pitch away now from getting through five shutout innings. And I'll tell you what, the way he's throwing, this could turn out to be a night off for the bullpen. One, two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Two, two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Salvador Perez would be next. 3-2, here it comes. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. With two way, you're just looking to get on base somehow. Especially when this guy hasn't given you anything so far, so very least make him work out of the stretch and throw a few more pitches here. First offering on the way. Off speed oh. pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, not really how you want to start the next guy after a walk. That pitch isn't even close. Here's the 1-0. Now a ball lined into left field. That's a base hit. And even with our score where it is, I mean, this game is not over. You know, they can chip away, maybe get a run or two here. They can get right back in this ball game before you know it. Adrian Beltre. See what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. First pitch coming. 
pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. Dickerson is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show. After this, Justin DeFreitas will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Back alongside Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian as Colorado shortstop Troy Tulowitzki heads forward now to start things out for the Rockies. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Pitch on the way. And this one misses to Tulowitzki. It's a ball and a strike. That's his strength. He wants to try and come in and jam you, so you've got to be ready to try and turn on something. One-one pitch on the way. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. The one-two. Change up, and that fades down and away, two and two. Two-two pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Line hard deep into left, and he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. I'll tell you, if this is in off the plate just a little bit further, this thing might end up in the cheap seats in left field. But instead, it just gets to the outer half. He still gets pretty good wood on the ball, but he winds up pulling it right at someone. Standing in now, Corey Dickerson, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Now here it comes. Hit hard back up the middle. Base hit. A couple of hard hit balls here to start the inning. The first one found a glove, but not this one, though. He's on with a one out single. Justin Morneau will step in, a ground out victim his last time. First pitch to him. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. The next pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Runners on first with one down. Morno waits the 1-1. One, one. Fouled straight back. Here comes the 1-2. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think, but sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. That's the 2-2 pitch. And he gets under the 2-2 a bit as this is sent in the air out to straightaway central. Under it is Revere to take it in, and there are two gone now. Whoa, and as a pitcher, you hold your breath anytime a ball's hit in the air at this place. But luckily, he got under this ball a little bit too much, and that runner has to retreat back to first base. Nolan Arenado 
We'll step toward the box here, and as he does, we flash you back to inning number three as you check out his three-run home run, a big blow early on. Now the first pitch, slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. The 1-0 pitch, 2-0 and now. Two zero on the way, and this one's over at the knees, two and one. Ready with the 2-1. Oh, textbook slider there, and he's back at even, 2-2. Two and two. Here he comes on 2-2. Two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full 3-2. and two. And now, 3-2, two, 2 out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. Now the three and two pitch. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Comes set, now the pitch. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Rockies strand one, but they hold a nine to nothing lead. Brandon Jordan will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Here's the first offering. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Two well count the pitch in there two and one the further this game goes along you get the sense that sooner or later somebody's going to run into one of these fastballs and hit one out of here here's the two and one pitch and a sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove well I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters count. This is where you need to pounce. Three one on the way. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. Now the payoff pitch home. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Yeah, nothing on the scoreboard yet, so maybe this can be a start as he's on base to lead off the inning. Dominic Brown will bat now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Now the first pitch. Cut fastball inside, ball one. Here comes the 1-0. In tight with the sinker, ball two. And on 2-0, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else.
Here comes the 2-0. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Now the 2-2 pitch. And this will be fouled away. Another 2-2 offering. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Full count pitch on its way. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch coming. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. First and second now after the walk. And they haven't gotten much going offensively against this guy at all. So this is about as good an opportunity as they've had. Darren Ruff will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Here's the first offering. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. From the stretch. Hard hit towards center. That's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner is in from second. And no chance there. He'll make it to third safely. Chase Utley will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. First pitch coming. Sinker to open the AB in there for strike one. Now with two on, nobody out, you got to be thinking strikeout double play out there on the mound. One or the other is what you really need. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Now a little bouncer into no man's land down that third baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Yeah. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. And you know, he really doesn't have to throw that changeup all that much for it to be an effective pitch. You can see what his breakdown is. Mike Franco will dig in here. One for two, he singled and grounded out so far. First pitch on the way. Ball one. And with two walks in the inning already, he can't afford to fall behind anybody else if he wants to stay in the game. The runners are at first and third, one away. One zero on the way. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Oh, that's a good fastball right there. And you had to figure that he was looking for that sinker. One one, and that misses. Two and one. This is the kind of inning he's not pitching efficiently. He's just trying to be too darn fine. Not trusting his stuff. Here he comes on two and one. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Here's the two and two offering. 
And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. The two two. On the ground to second base. This could be two. On to Morno, and they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Seventh inning. Rockies with a 9 1 lead, and pitch is fouled. No balls and one strike. McHenry, the batter. Gomez is in the ball game. Ball one. Oh. Come on, oh. You see the Phillies. Defensive line up here. Phillies made a double switch. Freddie Galvis is in the lineup. Now for the Phillies taking the place of Mikel Franco. One ball and two strikes. Two and two. Another foul. Billy's using that bullpen a lot. Once again in this one. To Utley over the rough for the out. It's Drew Stubbs. He singled and knocked in a run. Drew Stubbs. Ball. Side for a ball. One ball and no strikes. One and one. Foul off the railing of the Phillies dugout. Gomez called up a couple weeks ago. Two, balls, two and two. Right. Now Kendrick's still in the game. He waits on deck. It's now a full count to Drew Stubbs. Popped him up. Foul behind the backstop. And Salvador Perez makes the catch. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and it will bring up Kyle Kendrick. He is one for three with a single, and he knocked in the run. So, pitcher getting involved in action here. He is still in the game. All one's the count. And there's one strike. Ball. One and one. We're playing 11. One, one. Got a little bit of a late jump on that. It's one ball and two strikes. Ball. Two, two. two and two now. Phillies, their offense has really been struggling. The last few games. As 
not really been in the games. The Mets game, second game in the Mets series, they were in it, but the first, the first and the third game wasn't really close. And now this one, you know, the Phillies have three more innings to try to catch up. Not really a contest, and Gomez walks the pitcher, and you don't want to do that. Now batting, the center fielder. Here's Charlie Blackman. Blackman is three for four. Ball, ball and no strikes. Phillies will have a day game tomorrow, 3.05, and then Sunday afternoon at 1.35. Ball and one strike. Bit of a tough road for the Phillies right now. Slug foul. Brown ball to Utley, a fire to rough footy out, and that'll end the inning for the Rockies. Stretch time at Citizens Bank Park. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Rockies lead it nine and one. There's Freddie Galvis. Galvis batting at 214. This is his first at bat. He has two home runs on the season. One ball and no strike. You see the line on Kendrick, 98 pitches. You would think this will be his last inning. One and one. Phillies have had some opportunities and runners on base, but grounding in the double plays, fly outs, killed the Phillies threat. Jimenez hits another home run for the Mets, his second of the season. Jimenez already with two home runs, hit a, hit a home run against the Phillies on Memorial Day. Yep, that ball went out. Two balls and two strikes to Freddy Galvis. Top foul is going to go into the stands, not a play, just below us. Another foul. Pretty quiet here. Fans really couldn't get into this game. Full we'll count. Ben Rivera waits on deck. And here's ball four. See Kendrick, six hits, six innings, one earned run, four walks, and four strikeouts. That was his fourth walk. Here's Ben Rivera. He walked in the fifth. Kendrick can walk batters. Ball and no strikes. Sixty strikes, forty seven balls. Two and oh. Man, the Phillies just love to get something going, get some momentum going, even if they don't win the game. Just get some momentum. Because they're just, right now, their bats have been silent. It's a foul, and it's two and one. Go, 
Count is even now. Rivera is getting some good cuts. Looped in the left field and caught by Stubbs. One out. A bring up Salvador Perez. Perez is one for three. Bounced up there, one ball with no strikes. Perez hits this one to left field. And two outs. Left center field. We'll bring up Adrian Beltre. Beltre is one for three. strikes. Hit to the shortstop, fires over the second, just in time. That'll win the bottom of the seventh. We go to the eighth, Phillies, we've won. Still now one Colorado. Ken Giles into the game, a 4.32 ERA and a 1 and 2 record in 27 games. Here's DJ Lemieux. Leading off of the Rockies, second baseman, DJ Lemayhu. Lemayhu takes a ball. It foul, one ball and one strike. Foul down the left third baseline. Base hit in the left field. So LeMahieu with a base hit, and I'll bring up Troy Tulowitzki, who's one for four. strikes. Rockies with 14 hits tonight. Two balls and no strikes. Three and nothing. Corey Dickerson waits on deck. That's a ball. Take all it four in. walked them all four straight. And I'll right bring up Corey Dickerson. Dickerson. One strike to Dickerson. Hey, double him up. That's a ball. Two ball and one strike. So in one. Two. 
Got that over. They're talking about Sandberg was talking about resting some players tomorrow. Just to give them a break or two. So you might see some players resting up. Oh, Bobble. Seventh inning. Rockies with a 9 1 lead and pitches fouled. No balls and one strike. McHenry the batter. Gomez is in the ball game. Ball one. Oh. Come on, oh. You see the Phillies. Defensive line up here. Phillies made a double switch. Freddie Galvis is in the lineup. Now for the Phillies taking the place of Mikel Franco. On ball and two strikes. Two and two. Another foul. Billy's using that bullpen a lot. Once again in this one. To Utley over the rough for the out. It's Drew Stubbs. He singled and knocked in a run. Drew Stubbs. Ball. Side for a ball. One ball and no strikes. One and one. Foul off the railing of the Phillies dugout. Gomez called up a couple weeks ago. Two, balls, two and two. Right. Now Kendrick's still in the game. He waits on deck. It's now a full count to Drew Stubbs. Popped him up. Foul behind the backstop. And Salvador Perez makes the catch. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and it will bring up Kyle Kendrick. He is one for three with a single, and he knocked in the run. So, pitcher getting involved in action here. He is still in the game. All ones count. And there's one strike. Jump on that is one ball and two strikes. Ball. Two, two. two and two now. Phillies, their offense has really been struggling in the last few games. Not really been in the games. 
Mets game, second game of the Mets series, they were in it, but the first, the first and the third game wasn't really close. And now this one, you know, the Phillies have three more innings to try to catch up. Not really a contest, and Gomez walks the pitcher, and you don't want to do that. Now batting, the center fielder. Here's Charlie Blackman. Blackman is three for four. Ball, ball and no strikes. Phillies will have a day game tomorrow, 3.05, and then Sunday afternoon at 1.35. Ball and one strike. Bit of a tough road for the Phillies right now. Slug foul. Brown ball to Utley, a fire to rough footy out, and that'll end the inning for the Rockies. Stretch time at Citizens Bank Park. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Rockies lead it 9 and 1. There's Freddie Galvis. Galvis batting at 214. This is his first at bat. He has two home runs on the season. One ball and no strike. You see the line on Kendrick, 98 pitches. You would think this will be his last inning. One and one. Phillies have had some opportunities and runners on base, but grounding in the double plays, fly outs, killed the Phillies threat. Jimenez hits another home run for the Mets, his second of the season. Jimenez already with two home runs, hit a, hit a home run against the Phillies on Memorial Day. Yep, that ball went out. Two balls and two strikes to Freddy Galvis. Top foul is going to go into the stands, not a play, just below us. Another foul. Pretty quiet here. Fans really couldn't get into this game. Full we'll count. Ben Rivera waits on deck. And here's ball four. See Kendrick, six hits, six innings, one earned run, four walks, and four strikeouts. That was his fourth walk. Here's Ben Rivera. He walked in the fifth. Kendrick can walk batters. Ball and no strikes. Sixty strikes, forty seven balls. Two and oh. Man, the Phillies just love to get something going, get some momentum going, even if they don't win the game. Just get some momentum. Because they're just, right now, their bats have been silent. It's a foul, and it's two and one. Go. 
Count is even now. Rivera is getting some good cuts. Looped in the left field and caught by Stubbs. One out. A bring up Salvador Perez. Perez is one for three. Bounced up there, one ball with no strikes. Perez hits this one to left field. And two outs. Left center field. We'll bring up Adrian Beltre. Beltre is one for three. strikes. Hit to the shortstop, fires over the second, just in time. That'll end the bottom of the seventh. We go to the eighth, Phillies leave one. Still now one, Colorado. Ken Giles into the game, a 4.32 ERA and a 1 and 2 record in 27 games. Here's DJ Lemieux. Leading off of the Rockies, second baseman, DJ Lemayhu. Lemayhu takes a ball. It foul, one ball and one strike. Foul down the left third baseline. Base hit in the left field. So LeMahieu with a base hit, and I'll bring up Troy Tulowitzki, who's one for four. strikes. Rockies with 14 hits tonight. Two balls and no strikes. Three and nothing. Corey Dickerson waits on deck. That's a ball. Take all it four in. walked them all four straight. And I'll right bring up Corey Dickerson. Dickerson. One strike to Dickerson. Hey, double them up. That's a ball. Two ball and one strike. So in one. Switch. Turn. Two. 
that over. They're talking about Sandberg was talking about resting some players tomorrow just to give them a break or two. So you might see some players resting up. Oh, bobble. 